Okay, so what I what I said was I get inspired by you guys' testimonials, you guys put it on Facebook. And there's times when I'm depressed, I got PTS going on. There's times when I'm really feeling uh, down, I want to kill myself. It's, the depression is very bad. Um, and I listen to you guys, and it inspires me, and you guys push my own. Right? That's awesome. That's what we do, guys. That's what we do. Yeah, that, what an honor. I mean, what an honor to hear that. I don't know if you ever see me when I text and I say hi to Brian. I say, of course hi, you guys, I do. So, You're so respectful to us. Uh, Thank you. Makes a good day. Yeah. Yeah, we have great respect for your background and tell tell our viewers truth love mystery a little bit about your background and your belts and well i'm an eight-time mma world champion uh canon bjj is my uh my school I do, uh, i'm a third degree black belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu eight-time mma world champion fought all over the world from pride to king of the cage um been doing jiu-jitsu and uh, mma for 27 years my god since 1991 since 1991 but do you hear what he's saying i mean this kind of warrior and these kind of accomplishments and yet if he can suffer from ptsd and bouts of suicidal thoughts yeah. well i, I spent I'm in Iraq. You know, I, was, oh, I, was, I was a private contractor in Iraq, actually uh, with Chris Garland here, and we worked for Blackwater Private Security. And, and times were bad. You know, we lost people, and uh, sometimes you get re survivors remorse, survivors guilt. You know, my friends died. They they, they survived. Um, you know, it gets to you. I mean, this is this is the real life, you guys. If you're wondering what part of what Truth and Love Ministry International does, this is what we do, you guys. And a lot of it's behind the scenes because a lot of these guys can't really come out in the open. A lot of them are still in service, yep. and a lot of them are still undercover. So, um, you know, well, I want you guys to all stand in agreement with me. Let's pray for Shannon. Let's even just pray for him right now. Oh, if you have a moment, great. we can yeah, do yeah, that. Absolutely. We're just going to pray for this brother. This is my first time to actually meet him in person. My husband's known you for how many years? Oh, me and Brian know each other 20 years. <laughs> He's like change each other's diapers or something, I don't know. Or, or you know, something he, like that. Yeah, or wipe each other's blood off or something, right? Yeah. We just did a really good interview oh, on that. Uh, awesome. He talked about, uh, you know, what you're suffering from. The PTSD. The PTSD, yeah, yeah. suicidal thoughts, and how our ministry you has. You guys um, me a lot. Sometimes right. I listen to the, to the, to the podcast. Okay, we'll do it after you're done. I'll, I'll pray for you after you're done. You go do your thing. I'm a video. Well, you guys, that's just a little bit of a clip of um, coming up. Should I take my shoes off? Oh, I gotta, I gotta take my stilettos off, you guys. Can you imagine? Oh, Lord Jesus. The perils of an MMA wife. Really? But uh, this is what we do, you guys. There's Green Berets and here's Special Ops. They're still in service, so a lot of their faces can't be shown. But um, come on, they're suffering with suicidal tendencies, uh, drug addiction, depression. Come on, guys, let's go. Partner with us. We're doing a great work for these warriors, you guys. Okay, I gotta. This one's got to be a private one. So I'm gonna turn this off.